which is a very nice city in the south of Sydney. And uh, I just want to talk about my PhD research, which is a part of a very comprehensive uh, research program, which is being held at our institute, the Geopolitical Research Institute, and is sponsored by Australian Research Council. In this, uh, by this program, um, the researchers are fabricating and designing biostructures to support uh, tissue structures and use these um, structures as implantable devices for the treatment of some disease, for example, epilepsy, schizophrenia, and aging to mass rate. My project, my PhD project, project was um, fabricating and designing novel drug degrade systems for the treatment of epilepsy with uh, the supervision of Professor Bottoms and Professor Norton from Intelligent Human Research Institute and Professor Good from and also Sorry, can you raise your voice a little bit? Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay, is that okay now? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, first of all, um, I'm going to give you a very short um, explanation about epilepsy. Epilepsy is characterized um, by a normal. Structure of the polymer is more uh, expanded, 
and really is the state that is better from the employee is more, more contracted. So by switching between uh, uh, these two structures, more uh, contracted and more expanded, we can open and close this porous structure and we can mitigate or run the release of the drug or we can control the release of the drug. So what is this gate exactly? This gate is a plasmus PDDF membrane and conducting polymer. In this case, polyhydro, which is a conducting polymer, uh, has been deposited on the surface of this membrane uh, by electro, electro, uh, electrochemical uh, synthesis. So we use this um, electrochemical cell to synthesize, electrochemically synthesize this um, gate system and we use different electropolymerization condition and different dopamine or contagions or electropolymerized uh, polyhydrol on the surface of this plasmus PVDF membrane. So that was the fabrication of this um, PVDF membrane was the first step and for the second step we started to test the characteristics of this um, connecting polymer and uh, we studied the connectivity, electroactivity, morphology, what are instead of plugs. Uh, one of the next day is mapping, and the point was finding the best uh, gating system for our uh, goal, which is the release of the drug. And the first thing was the most important factor, the most important um, factor of, um, effective factor of release of the drug. So for example, I'll just present um, some same changes here, and you can see that using different contagions, using different electrical stimulation, uh, electrical polymerization, um, the, by using different uh, contagion and different electropolymerization, um, we have different porosity of the gating system. And also, um, coating of the surface of PDF membrane with platinum decreases the water flux, which means decrease the porosity of the uh, membrane, but um, synthesize a, a connecting polymer on the surface of that membrane, decrease the water flux, but not as much as coating with uh, platinum layer. <coughs> Next step was uh, study the drug transport through this um, gating system or this membrane system. I put the membrane system between these two parts, and um, in one side, for example, this left-hand side, um, I put the drug solution, and in the other side, I put just the uh, medium. Um, this is the structure of drug. Glucosmide is one antidepressive drug, and I saw this antidepressive drug in ACSF, an artificial cell retinal fluid of the brain. So in this uh, input side, I put the ACSF and glucosmide, and the receiver side, I just put the ACSF to be no drug. Um, then I apply the electrical stimulation to the surface of uh, this membrane and study the transport of drug from feed side to the receiver side with um, different time and different sampling time. And for example, this is just one example of the result. You can see that at previous stage, and we had the maximum transport of drug from the feed side to the receiver side as we expected because at the previous stage we expected the uh, gating system is more open, so more drug can transport from feed side to the receiver side, and then followed by oxidized and passive state. For the next step, uh, we use the hollow uh, fiber membrane, hollow fiber PDF membrane. That's the same material, but with different shape. And the point was uh, this. Uh, PDF fiber membrane is a gating system and a reservoir system at the same same time. So I injected um, at, at first I synthesized the outer surface of this hollow fiber membrane with connecting polymer, different um, contagions and different electropolymerization uh, condition, and then I uh, inject the um, drug drug solution inside of this hollow fiber membrane and seal both ends of this membrane. And then uh, study the characterization of that, study the conductivity, electroactivity, morphology, what are excess of plugs. For example, this SM image of, of the cross section of this membrane shows the, this um, shiny broad layer at the outer surface. 
means that the outcome set is not this common and this qualified there is covered by a common polymer. And then again, study the release of the drug from inside of the solid fiber to the outside by applying any by simulation. And you can see this picture, uh, same as the flat membrane and reduce the state. We had higher drug transport from inside to the, uh, to the outside and then followed by oxidized and passive state. But the most interesting result is um, has achieved by applying the false potential state. By application of a uh, false potential state, we have on and off profile release. You can see that applying reduced state initiate the drug release from inside of the hollow <coughs> to the outside, and then after two minutes by switching between uh, uh, reduced state to oxidized state, the drug release had stopped. And then um, after four minutes, by switching again from oxidized to reduced state, we can initiate the drug release again. And then during the oxidized state, we could close the gate and we could, uh, we could stop the release of the drug. So we could successfully control the release of the drug. I mean, uh, we could um, re and start and stop the re release of the drug by a simulation. And in conclusion, um, drug transport at reduced state for both flat and qualified membranes was uh, the maximum one, and uh, the false potential state leads to having on and off release for uh, unsuggested drug. And finally, I would like to thank our supervisors, all of my colleagues, and uh, my collaborators from Melbourne University and St. Vincent Hospital, and also the POW. And thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Dr. Very nice lecture, and it's open for discussion. Always good to thank the great things with us. Uh, I want to put in fact this uh, device into the video to surgically do this. Oh, and what is the concentration of this drug uh, activity to those? This, uh, the approved we, can, uh, we can change the concentration of the drug, but for this study, I use, uh, for this result here, I use 0.5 mg per milliliter, but we can increase the concentration. No, but in the, in the therapeutic process, it goes to so my body, the drug. The therapeutic level? Yeah. I don't know. Because it's different, the targeting data, uh, because the, this release system is different from the normal release system. Because we know the targeting data of glucosamide, uh, uh, which you want to use that as an oral administration, yeah. but this one is different. Yeah. So we don't know the targeting data. Yeah. yeah. But you can change the Yeah, excuse me. Uh, what is the reservoir made of? Your reservoir for the drug. You described the top membrane, but what about the reservoir? Uh, it can be any polymer. You can uh, use the 3D printer to print the reservoir which any size that you want. It can be something like PLGA, everything. Uh, so it will be degradable in the brain. It will disappear in the brain by time. Uh, no, we don't want to uh, lose that because this uh, membrane system is a stable in the brain, so the reservoir should be a stable as well. That is our aim. And the size, what is the size we're talking about? We haven't, uh, we haven't um, uh, go to that level right now, but uh, the size should be like one or two centimeter. Oh, so you, can, you can change the size, it's not uh, totally up to you, you can change that. We haven't do that level because this is uh, the first level of this. This is a very comprehensive project, as I told you. This is just the first level. At the first level, we just wanted to fabricate this gating system because that's very important, this gating system, because this should be totally controllable. So that reservoir, that's not the main point of this project. We can change that and we can produce that um, yeah, it depends on what we want, yeah. Okay, what does a hollow mean? What does a hollow membrane mean? A hollow means that the inside of that fiber is empty. There is nothing inside. There is a space inside of that fiber. So we can inject the drug inside of the fiber. So that fiber, that hollow fiber can act as a reservoir. 
and also as a gating system as well, both of them. Hello. Uh, you think this paper, uh, the development and the evolution of solenum minium extract protein PLTA minus fish? No, that was a change. Yes, it's changed. Uh, that was in the That was a change in the Okay. Uh, yes, uh, it's a very innovative work uh, because uh, this uh, novel bacteria started in 1970 when these uh, microspheres uh, started and uh, where this uh, reservoir system made of simple polymers like ethyls, rose, and other things. Today, you have developed a very with the advanced technology, this uh, original bath case and a wet drug and drug and deliver to this uh, the brain. It's a very nice one. Uh, here are some questions. Uh, this, uh, uh, I would say, this uh, large main barrier, uh, this permeation, uh, the lipid solubility is a very important factor. Now, uh, let me take this one and this is your hypothesis. In vivo study, have you studied that how much drug it is a trigger and uh, released and uh, enter into this uh, brain cells and give this efficacy? I mean, some sort of uh, in vivo study, have you studied? Sorry, I don't think I understand you. What was your question? In vivo study, have you done any in vivo? No, no, no. no we haven't. We haven't started in vivo study. Okay, this uh, uh, can I go back to say your slides? Okay, Which one? Uh, from the last one, uh, where this uh, part by part your. Thank you. 